Okay, so growing up in a situation like this, did you have a rough childhood or an okay childhood? I, I had a rough child. I wouldn't say rough. Yeah, I would say, yeah, because today kids commit suicide because of bullying. Hmm. And when you're bullied by your own people, you know, uh, Charles Drew, uh, Charles Drew School, uh, Charles R. Drew uh, grade school, um, because I was on welfare, you know, I did have the hand-me-down clothes that my work, my mother worked for these Jewish people. So I had the uh, the shoes that were too tight, you know. I mean, you know, she could get clothes every now and then from this cheap place called This Is It. And they knew, everyone knew those clothes were from This Is It. In addition, I was thin uh, and I was a church boy. So, uh, and then they said I talked white. And all I did, all our teachers are black. I'm just imitating the teachers. So it's really rough when you're going to an all black school and you're being bullied. Every day there's something said, you know, or they're taking your lunch money or they're beating you in the chest. Uh, and because I am, thank God, I was in deep in the church. And my my faith in Christ, you know, from the time I was born, I, that's all I knew was Jesus Christ. So I had that faith that I knew God had me. And I saw in a way I felt sorry for them because I felt that he would punish them. Mm. But then you go to the South in the summertime, in the, uh, in the vacation, and then you got the whites where you have to say yes, sir, and no, sir, to the white, even white kids because of Emmett Till, mm -hmm. that photo in Jet Magazine, your mo my grandmother and mother said, look, this is what happens, you know? So when you go to the South, even if it's a white kid, you say, yes, sir, and no, sir. So in that sense, yeah, you know, and I was asthmatic for 18 years. But it's more the bullying and, 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 and then going to the South and going to the back of the restaurants and all that. Yeah. Well, you were, I guess, six years old when Emmett Till got lynched? Yeah. Do you remember that yeah. time? Oh yeah. Well, they showed they showed us, you know, because she made sure that you know they showed him in the casket as what as he was beat up, you know. But they beat him up. So I mean, he looks like a, like something other than this world, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, so my grandmother and mother made sure. Thank God she put that image in the Jet magazine, so we so we would not make that mistake. Because we knew that white men would definitely kill us if we say something, said something out of line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, very, a very messed up situation. And then years later, uh, the woman who accused Emmett Till of whistling at her or whatever, I guess, before she died, admitted that the whole thing was, was fake. That she Unbelievable. made it all up. I know. I, I, I couldn't, yeah. All that time. All that time. All that time, man. Yeah. Okay, so you're growing up, and I guess you were the Dory Miller Projects? Yeah, Dory Miller Projects. And, uh, you know, started skipping school at one point, and, you know, a little bit of a, of a bad kid. No, times. I was skipping school because of the bullying. Oh, because of the bullying? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, not yeah, because yeah, you yeah. didn't want to oh, go to yeah. school. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and I, I guess at one point, uh, your mom got into a new relationship yeah. with a man named JC. Yes. Well, you did your homework, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> Who used to hit your mom all the time? Yeah, in the beginning, he did. Uh, I was 11 years old when she married him, and I didn't like him from the beginning. And uh, because I really, I, I, my mother it was another guy that she was going to marry. Well, she actually did marry him. But uh, because of the whole color thing, the light skin, black skin, he was too dark. And her friend told her, her friend said, look, you know, this guy doesn't, you know, he's too dark to be with you. So basically my mother, she's ashamed of it now, but she actually divorced him because of that. Wow. So JC was light, lighter brown. Yeah. I, yeah. Colorism exists among us. And uh, so when she married JC, the first time I met him, she picked him up. She, uh, he picked her up and I was in the back seat and they got into arguments. So here he is hitting her and I, I'm, you know, I'm 11, what can I do? You know, I'm, I'm screaming and she's hollering for me. And uh, so I definitely hated him from then on. But then, thank God, my cousin Sydney, who was in like the, like a little mafia thing, you know, <laughs> uh, Sydney, you know, one mess with Sydney, he had killed people and got out like that, you know, so he was into something because he never went to jail for a long time. So when I told him about it, 
he came over and that ended that, you know, he came over on a Saturday morning, 8.30 in the morning with pistol in hand, dressed to the T, trench coat, <laughs> you know, JC, but you, did you put your hand on my, my cousin? And he was, oh, and I felt, then I felt bad because I didn't want him to die, you know? So I'm pleading with Sydney because we know he'll pull that trigger, you know? And that was the end of that. And they became, they were like, um, you know, lovers from then on, you know, like soulmates from then on, you know? 